I am honestly really sad right now, if you can tell. Um, that's, like, the weirdest thing about grief is, like, didn't cry for two days, was good for two days, and now I'm by myself, and it's just, like, the hurricane, like, it just, it's here again, you know? It's, the tsunami is back, like, it's just so hard, and, like, I'm frustrated because I, you know, got, my whole world got disheveled, and I feel like he has moved on, and he is healed and moved on and doesn't care about me which I don't want him to come back into my life but it still just sucks you know I can't imagine you know thank you guys for sharing stuff like stories that you've been like you've gotten through this and it's been however many years because I could not imagine that I can't imagine being with someone for a really long time and going through this you know sorry if you can hear my cat literally playing in the background um, like, I was only with him for four and a half years, one year married. I could not imagine, though, being with him for longer and this happening, but it's just, it's just so sad sometimes, and it's, like, so hard to have to learn how to do life by yourself again, like, you know, you don't have that person to call all the time or that best friend to go do things with and that's what scares me i've never truly been alone and worked on myself and i'm terrified of it not me crying on the internet more but i just want to share all of it the good and the bad you know so that i have this to look on a year from now and know that I did heal but also to help anybody else who's going through heartbreak like heartbreak sucks it sucks so bad you like physically feel the pain emotionally mentally everything and again I had two really really good days did not cry at all those two days and then you know as soon as I'm by myself or as soon as you know I do something or something triggers me it just all comes flooding back and like it's just a lot it's grief sucks this whole thing sucks so bad and I'm literally praying and thinking about anybody else going through a divorce I just wanted to talk about the fact that it's okay to sit down and miss the person sometimes miss the connection you had I think a lot of the times I try and I think I'm really strong about what happened to me most of the time and I think that I haven't cried about my ex in a long time actually um, but today I just kind of sat down and this is a holiday I probably would have spent with his family too and it's okay to just like miss what you had sometimes like I don't think I know that we try and tell ourselves like well you know they weren't right for us or maybe they were a bad person or maybe they did this or they did this to you and like while I think that's true and like I think that you can tell yourself that I mean that's like I try and put on this really sorry this is very rambly but I really did just pick up the camera and start talking I think what I'm trying to say is that we tell ourselves or at least I do if I'm thinking about my ex, I typically am just like, nope, not going to think about him. Like, we're detaching, you know what I mean? And that works the majority of the time. But sometimes you can just sit down and cry. You can sit down and let out your feelings. And I think people who don't ever cry about the things or people who don't ever let themselves think about it, like, we have to think about it. We have to feel the things. And that doesn't make you weak. Like, being vulnerable does not make you weak. I really hate when people say that. Um because life is all about the human emotions and what we go through you know what I mean like that is literally life and um I just think that it's okay to just sit down and miss what you had it's okay to and and that's not even me saying oh I miss my ex I miss blah 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 like I'm not saying that I'm saying that sometimes I miss having a connection like that where I felt like oh, I had a person, right? And, like, I had my person. I miss that for sure, but I think sometimes it's okay. It's okay to grieve. It's okay to sit. And I think a lot of the times we try and, 
distract or we try and fill with voids or we try and move on to the next person and some days it's okay to just sit and it's okay to have a have a cry and get back out there in life something really quickly so whenever i figured out that my ex-husband was dating the girl that i was worried about at the end of our marriage i was so sad at first and then i realized how much stronger i am now than even i was six months ago because that would have made me feel devastated for like weeks i feel like and i was really only sad for like a day or two like yeah it still hurts it's disappointing and it hurts but it's almost like the anticipation of what i thought was going to be my worst nightmare now that it like came true i'm just kind of like oh okay like that says way more about him than it does me and our relationship you know what i mean so yeah, I just kind of wanted to share that and share where my headspace is at.